All right, so let's go ahead and figure out the solution to this problem. Let's, by completing the square, so first thing you need to do is get the constant on a separate side of the equation. So I add 20 to both sides. I have x squared minus 8x is equal to 20. Now what I do is I take half the middle term and I square it, so negative 4 squared is positive 16. Add 16 to both sides. We end up with x squared, um, my, or, excuse me, I'm not going to take that step. So this, this x squared minus 8x plus 16 can break down to x minus 4 squared, and on the right side we have 36, 20 plus 16. So take the square root of both sides. We end up with x minus 4 equals plus or minus 6. And add 4 to both sides. We end up with x is equal to plus or minus 6 plus 4. So this ends up being x is equal to negative 2, negative 6 plus 4, and positive 6 plus 4 is 10. And if you were to factor the original equation, it would end up being x plus 2 and x minus 10. So um, this is probably a little bit longer, but it's similar to the quadratic equation, meaning if you couldn't see how to factor it off the start, this can help. So anyway, uh, negative 2 and 10 are our solutions. Hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.